Okay, so I've got an interesting game here that you'll probably recognise the gameplay from. Over here, I have got a small red tree, which I'm thinking looks quite like a mushroom. Slightly different from your regular Super Mario mushrooms, but still okay nonetheless. And I have this octopus over here, so he's my enemy. And if I drive into the octopus, we can say see that the game is over. On the other hand, if I pick up the mushroom, I grow in size... When I hit the octopus, I shrink again, I look confused, and then I'm back to my original state. And if I then go and get the octopus again, oh dear, game is over. So this is obviously a bit more complex than all of the ones we've been looking at before, and I'd like to show you exactly how I've done this. It's done using a technique called pages. So it's all on the cycle, and what you'll be able to see is I've got a program here, but up the top, you might have noticed this before, there are the opportunity to have different pages of instructions. So on the first page of the instructions, that's where we always start. And you can see we've got our normal movement things, and when we bump into the red tree, first of all we make it disappear. Then we scale ourselves up, and then we switch to page 2. But if we haven't bumped the red tree, if instead we bump an octopus, we die. So this is the state that happens without having picked up any kind of red tree. Once we've picked up the red tree, the program switches into page 2. So it doesn't take any notice of page 1. And instead, the behaviour for my cycle is that Again, we move around quickly, and when we bump into the octopus, we scale down, we express stars, and then we switch to page 3. Now, if we switch straight back to page 1, then we'd still be touching the octopus, and then the game would be over. So what we need to do is give ourselves a little bit of distance in there. So instead, we are allowed to move around quickly again. And then after three seconds, we stop expressing anything and then switch back to page one. If we're still touching the octopus, then I'm afraid we will uh, die. And I can just show you that now. So, again, if I just go to a bit of a better angle. There we are. And I pick that up. If I stay touching the octopus, we die instantly. So that's how to make a state for your character so that they behave differently. Some of this you can do without it by using ifs and thens, using the normal Kodu programming, but on occasion you'll want to change complex behavior, and you'll need to manage this through having several pages of program. You'll find, in fact, that there are, I think, 12 different pages for you to choose from, so you can make programs that are quite complex. Have a go. See what you think, and uh, yes, we will uh, see what you come up with.